In this video, we will look at a few examples that will let us practice working with parallel lines in the coordinate plane. Example A says, find the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals negative one-third x plus four and passes through nine negative five. Remember that parallel lines always have the same slopes. So if we're looking for a line that's parallel to y equals negative one-third x plus four, that means our line has to have a slope of negative one-third. So our line's gotta start out with the equation y equals negative one-third x plus something. So we just don't know our y-intercept or our b. We know our slope has to be negative one-third. So we can use this given point of nine negative five and substitute it for x and y in order to solve for b. So let's do that right now. y is negative five and x is nine and we're trying to solve for b. So let's evaluate this. Negative one third times nine is negative three. So we have negative five equals negative three plus b. So if I add three to both sides, I can figure out that negative two has to equal b. So that means my final equation would just be what we had here, except b will be negative two. So our final answer is y equals negative one-third x minus two. It has the same slope as the original. They're both negative one-third because the lines are parallel, but a different y-intercept in order to pass through this given point. All right, let's go on to example B. Which of the following pairs of lines are parallel? So remember, to be parallel, that means that they have to have the same slopes. So we're looking for slopes, which is the coefficient of x, when it's written in the form y equals mx plus b, we're looking for those numbers to be the same. So this first one is not the same. The second one, they're each four, so that's good. Those pairs of lines are parallel. In the third one, the coefficient is negative one. That's what it means when it doesn't have the one, it's implied that it's one. And this one is just positive one. So those don't match because one's negative and one's positive. So our answer is, this second pair of lines. Finally, let's look at example C. Find the equation of the line that is parallel to the line through the point marked with a blue dot. Okay, so we're trying to find the line that will go through this blue dot, so like approximately like this, that will be parallel to the original line. So to do that, we can do it like we did example A. This dot is the point 2, negative 2, and the only other information we need is the slope of the original line. So the original blue line, if I look for two points where it crosses, I can see that the slope of this line is delta x is 2 and delta y is 4. So 4 over 2 is 2, so the slope equals 2. So that might, means my equation for the new line, the purple line, is going to be y equals 2x plus something, b. We don't know the y-intercept yet. What we could do is use the graph to figure out what the slope has to be, or sorry, where the y-intercept has to be. We can work backwards. If this is one point, that means that with a slope of two, this would have been another point and this would have been another point. So I can see that the y-intercept has to be negative six, it looks like, in order to make it work out. I can also plug in the given point um, in for x and y in order to solve for b. So just let's just do that to see. We'd get negative two equals two times two plus b. So negative two equals four plus b. That means once I minus four from each side, I get negative six equals b, which is what I guessed over there by working backwards. So my final answer is just going to be y equals two x minus six. So I just substituted in my negative six for b.